First, we're gonna watch probably the most aggressive set, the most head head banging set, slamming skulls. Culver's light. There are one projectile amongst uh, both of them out of their 50 moves or whatever. However many. How many moves does a character have? This is one of the craziest summits in my opinion. This is a really good summit. This might be the best summit, honestly. There's been so much crazy sh that's been happening. So Cola versus Light. I know they had a really good set in winners as well. So this was the run back. Light, oh, or rather, Fox definitely gets more off of hit in this match, percent wise, but it doesn't really matter because Roy can kill him earlier. This is a run back. Cola won game five, nail biter, ass scratcher, okay? Barely won, Light was pissed. It was it was obvious Light was pissed, but I mean, it fueled them to get here, so. And of course, Light's, Light's chase down is absolutely fantastic. Also, I like how all the foxes were like, the forwarder's not that good of a move, and then suddenly, like I say once in a tier list, and I swear to God, every fox main spam's fair now. I'm totally taking credit. This is very sarcasm, by the way, in case you're unaware. <laughs> Fox's forwarder is actually broken. There's a lot of uh, dashing back from Cola. Obviously, because like neither of them want to get hit. Like the, the the disadvantage in this matchup is the most important part. Like, or, or rather, the advantage from the other player. But you can get absolutely rocked and disadvantage with one read. It seems a little bit more committal for Roy to be making the reads. But what do I know, right? Like, look at the, look at the damage and the pressure, and then he has the better frame data there. It's crazy. Cola, Cola just lost to a Cola, or no? Cola lost to, to Proto. I like that he's doing landing forward air more than landing dare now. He still does the dare like a kill percent, but forward air is so weird. And I, I think the combo starts are a little better. He's ready for that dash tag. He thought he could punish. it. Light does play at, at 150 miles an hour. I don't I don't understand. I, I, I literally cannot comprehend. Like my brain doesn't work that 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 way. My brain it's slow. Like, he, how does he get away with that? Like that, Light just can swing so big and somehow gets away with everything. I don't know how. I do know how, because he has the threat of falling there, which is crazy. Yeah, that sucks. Cola was like ready for most of that. Yeah, that's kind of like a, a Cola bread and butter is back airing the shield and then dashing back, anticipating you roll and f tilt. Light doesn't really roll there. Since he jumps out of the shield almost every time. Fox is broken. I'm tired of the Fox Deniers. This character's low-key, low-key, like, fifth. He's not, but he's low-key fifth. And also, Light is insane. <laughs> like, Light is so good. Good call out on the, the, the shield there with the grab. That's the, that's the most important part about playing Fox. There's two things. One, landing your grabs, and two, killing. Getting the damage, that's the easiest part. I wonder if, like... Is mashing, are, are mashing characters and mashing as players the, the best meta, the future of Smash? Is mashing, is, is, just, is just insane frame data? Because I swear to God, every character, every player has just been mashing their ass off. Or maybe it's just because I've been watching these two too much. That patience was ridiculous. That patience made almost no sense. He just stands here for a full like three seconds. What? So he lands, eh, 553. He literally stood there for two seconds and just waited. That's crazy, like look at that damage. And this is why I think a Fox's up tilt is broken by the way. And like if you air dodge it or the percents you can air dodge it, you still like get damage. Cola missing a lot of combos. He's just not reacting properly. He hit the down air, he hit the jab, and he just didn't follow up on either. I read that roll. I read that roll in, by the way. I read that roll in. My Fox. Cola not. He, he needs to be jumping while he's in disadvantage. Like, I understand the mash out, but it's so easy to just wait for it and react to your drift. No. Roy doesn't have the best acceleration in the air. He can't really change which way he's going. But once you're going one way, you're going. He can do like wave bounce stuff, but not when you've already committed to a four or not there. Bold F tilt. 
Alright, hit. Hey. Fox a little flexible, you see that? Man? A little flexible. I could do a split too. How many of y'all believe me? <laughs> How many of y'all believe me? Tell me, at least one of y'all believed that I could do a split when I said that. Like, you might have not believed me a split second later, but one of y'all believed me as soon as I said it. Like, oh, I can see that. Oh, I can see that. No, my big ass can't do a split. Oh, Cole was right there. That sucks. And you know, like, you just have to mash defensive options against uh, light because you're so scared of like normal things that you just have. You feel like you have to just be swinging at all times. If you don't play at light, if you don't play at light speed, if you struggle to play at light speed, he's going to overwhelm you and kill you. And then if you feel like like you're not used to playing at light speed, but you do play at light speed, it just means that now he's going to be uh, more experienced in these situations, which makes it really, really difficult to play against him because he's just better at it. He's just better at it. He's the best player in the world of playing this fast. Like, what the f***? Forward air's broken. Look at that. And he then missed the tech chase. He won't do it again, right? Landing on top of Fox. KW. Bro, Light... Light wanted this rematch. Light one. I've never seen Light one anything more than this damn rematch. He was, he was pissed. He lost. Damn. This is gonna be a quick three zero. No problem. This is gonna be a quick three zero. No problem. Off the jump there. Th this stock is gross. A little bit of movement there. Like he he beats Cola here. Like Cola wants the back air. He just runs under him. Read on that. Jump over any potential hitboxes Cola would have to contest him on the platform. He's just playing well in the scrap. God damn! He played that entire sequence perfectly. Guess right in every situation, and Cola got zero to death. Like, and that's a tech chase. And then he almost this literally could have been like weak nair. Like it could have been some some way to get a kill on a platform, like like down air like drift to the right and then land and then maybe like a forward smash. I don't know. Either way, it's still pressure. Like, look at this. Also, I like light started really just be like, I'm going to put you into tumble. I'm going to put you into tumble because sword characters do it. And like uh, Byleth Nair does it and so many moves. And it's literally such a important thing with Fox being so fast. What are we watching here? Oh my God. Now nah, run off the stage. <laughs> Run off the stage before he embarrasses you a little bit, Bo. Light! What the hell is this? He's gaming. Again, Cola is f fantastic and beat him in Winners Here and also beat him at the PAX Arena Tournament. So, like, Cola won the last two sets and then, like, just does this. I don't know if it's because he has wind in his sails after beating a Cola. I don't know if Cola lost some wind losing to Proto in reverse 3 0 fashion, but, like, God, this was bad. And you're already at like Nair up smash percent or down air up smash percent. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see Cola's faces? There's like the tech chase, and again, he's just right. That covers two of three options, or two of four options, too. Sorry, three of four options. Covers no tech, covers second place, and covers tech away. So, yeah, rough. And by that, I mean for Cola. For Light, that was fantastic. And then he went on to win Glitch, because he's really good and beat Sonics in a game five set, and also Kamehameha in a game five set, I think. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Cola could have done a better job at camping. That's what it comes down to. Part of beating Light is just knowing when he's gonna up tilt and knowing when he's gonna grab. I think those are the two biggest difference, like the two like game deciders, is uh, whether you can guess correctly in those 50 50s. And if you don't, you either die or take a lot of damage. Generally, you die. And if you enjoyed that, of course, go follow Light on Twitter and also subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate it. This was fun in analyzing it. So enjoy.